Good evening, my YouTube fam bams. How's everybody doing on this lovely Saturday evening? Hopefully, everybody's doing wonderfully blessed, chilling, staying safe, hanging with your loved ones wherever you're at in this beautiful, magnificent world that we all live in. It's your boy Hama G coming back at you with another hot video, guys. Today's topic we're going to be talking about VChain. Guys, I'm going to be uh, giving you guys a little bit of a level of uh, support, level of resistance. We're going to be reading a couple bull bullish articles. And guys, and we're going to briefly be talking about the POA, which is Proof of Authority 2.0, which is uh, doing great. And it's uh, it's ready to, so hopefully sooner than later, to be out, guys. We'll briefly talk about that and, and go over a little bit over uh, the crypto market, see where Papa Bitcoin's at and Ethereum. Then we'll get into a little bit of a, a, little bit of a stats on VeChain. If that all sounds good to you guys, do me a favor. Please consider to push that like button. Maybe leave me a comment down below and consider to subscribe to the channel. And guys, when we get to 500 subscribers, one lucky subscriber will get $150, their choice of crypto. And when we get to 1,000 subscribers, they will get $300 of crypto, their choice. And I am a man of my word, guys. You guys can hold me to it. Now, when we get to 500 uh, subscribers, we'll work out the details um, then. And same thing when we get to 1,000 subscribers. Now, let's just dive right into this content, guys. All right. So, currently now, Papa Papa Bitcoin is currently sitting at $37,517.78. And in the last 24 hours, it's up 0.19%, which is good. All right. And in the last 24 hours, it's down 22.20%. It has a market cap of $702.67 billion and volume in the last 24 hours, $56 billion. Uh, it's not bad, guys, because considering, you know what I mean, Papa Bitcoin had wicked out over at down all the way to $30,000, guys, but then it got gobbled up. A lot of people bought the dip at thirty grand and sprung it back up. You know I mean, there's a lot of FUD out there saying that it was manipulated, that it was... Uh, orchestrated you know what i mean by the people's republic of china you know what i mean there is tweets and so on and so forth uh you know floating in the air if you want to grab them and read them you know what i mean long story short there's just a lot of fud going on a lot of negative sentiment in the crypto community guys you know what i mean china you know banning bitcoin for the millionth time they ban bitcoin like once a month guys you know what i mean but you got to always remember guys if your conviction if you're outtake your outlook on crypto hasn't changed right the fundamentals for crypto haven't changed guys you know what i mean then it's all good you know what i mean it's just a little setback a little correction not little guys a big correction but nonetheless if your if your conviction if your uh outtake on crypto hasn't changed then nothing's it, it's all good guys you know what i mean and we're in this from the long run we're early in crypto guys we are super early, man, and we are going to make life-changing gains if you continue to hold on, hodl, 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 right? And just think of the long term. Think of three to five years, right? If you're thinking of the next couple months or maybe possibly the next year, guys, you know what I mean? Then, you know what I mean? Then maybe you shouldn't be investing in crypto, right? Because this is a long-term thing, guys. Granted, a lot of people do make money on the short end, right? But for me, I'm trying to make life-changing wealth, and that's going to take time. And, and I'm in this for the long run because I believe in crypto and what it stands for. You know what I mean? But anyways, okay, now let's get into Ethereum. Ethereum is sitting at $2,907.36. It is currently down 4.14% uh, for the last 24 hours. And in the last seven days, it's down a whopping 39.95%. Man, Ethereum's been taking a beating. And its market cap is sitting at $266.92 billion. And volume in the last 24 hours is at $41.56 billion. Now let's get into my baby, VeChain. Guys, I, I truly believe in VeChain, what it stands for, what it does. Guys, there's a lot of shit coins out there right now, right? But VeChain is actually solving world issues on a global scale. They have an impressive partnership, guys, with uh, outstanding partners right they have uh just to name a list a couple right they have bmw they have bayer they have walmart guys they have uh, it's called rec rec right they're uh, taking care of the plastic that's in the ocean i'm going to be reading a, a, a article out of that right guys i mean the list is impressive and i can sit here for hours talking about their partnerships on and so forth but i don't want to take up too much of your time they do have an impressive partnership roster do your own research and look it up guys and oh yeah don't take anything i say as a 
uh, for financial advice, guys. It's just me, Jaime G. Yippee, I've been on YouTube. Nothing more, nothing less. So, if you need a financial advisor, go look for one because I'm definitely not him, guys. You know what I mean? So, V Chain is currently sitting at 22, uh, 22, number 22 in uh, Coin Market Cap. It's currently at 10 cents right now, guys. It is down 5.37%. In the last uh for the day rather and in the last uh 24 hours it had a low guys at nine cents and a 24 hour high of 11 cents let's get into a little bit more stats here guys they have a uh, market cap guys of seven billion four hundred and eighty eight billion dollars their fully diluted market cap is at eight million seven hundred and seven hundred and forty seven billion and their volume in the last 24 hours is at one billion four hundred and twenty one dollars now guys there is uh strong level of resistance at 13 cents okay guys it's very strong right there's a lot of sellers wanting to sell around the 13 cent range and we have a very very strong level of support at seven cents right when it had bled out really bad it wicked down to seven cents but instantly buyers stepped in and bought the dip right at seven cents and sprung it back up thank god right but there's a strong level of resistance guys at seven cents okay and a strong level of resistance at 13 so remember that Re level resistance 13 cents level of support seven cents okay guys all right so now we're going to dive into this uh article here real quick right it's scott milker right he is considered the wall street of all the wolf of all streets okay i'm going to read this article real quick to you guys here guys and then we're going to dive real quick into that article about um uh, about Reese, their new partnership, right? It was R E S E A. It's a new partnership uh, with uh, V Chain. Okay, so it says Scott Melker thinks V Chain is better bet in the crypto space. Scott Mayer says in an interview with Fox that V Chain, yeah, and he talked about uh, V Chain guys on Fox Network. You know what I mean? It, that's just great for major adoption. You know what I mean? People hear V Chain and what it is, and you know what I mean. You have somebody such as Scott Melker talking about it on Fox. You know what I mean? That's great news, right? It says uh, that VeChain is one of the better bets. VeChain was also affected by the recent price dips in the market. Back in April, VeChain hit a new all-time high of 27 cents. I've been holding VeChain since one cent, guys. One cent. You know what I mean? So Scott Maker, the crypto influencer that dubs himself as the Wolf of All Streets on Twitter, thinks that VeChain may be a good bet in a video posted on Twitter. Maker was asked the question everyone's, uh, everyone's tweeting about VeChain. Any thoughts? And his thoughts were, in an interview with Fox, Melker said that VeChain is an incredible company that they enhance supply chain management in his statement. Melker mentioned that the platform can solve problems for many big companies and institutions. They have Gucci, they have uh, Louis Vuitton. Uh, guys, they just have a major, major great partnership with so many people, people that work on their supply chain that can verify their goods on the block, VeChain blockchain. You know what I mean? Back in April, a, a Twitter poll with more than 140,000 participants was asked which asset was undervalued. The majority answered VeChain. And I agree, guys. They have so much going for it. They're totally undervalued, right? Underdog, right? I'm always for the underdog. A few weeks after that, VeChain hit an all-time high of 27 cents because of the news. The VeChain testnet performed very well. Some analysts even predict that it may go to $1.00 very soon i think it will guys however as the crypto market crashed mid-may uh vchain was also one of the assets that were affected at the time of writing coin information websites like coin market cap re uh, reports that vchain is currently trading at 11 cents what well, we just read guys it's obviously trading at 10 cents right now it's okay you know what i mean i just wanted to share a quick tweet with you guys okay guys now this is about the poa Right, it says the uh, POA, which is Proof of Authority 2.0 testnet, is waking up. It's currently trading 2,500 transactions, right, guys? 2,500 transactions per block, right? Clauses equal 2,000, right? 500 uh, transactions per block at this rate, nonstop all day. This is at this rate, nonstop all day. That is 21.6 million transactions a day, guys. That is extremely great and bullish for V Chain, right? It says each block for. 40.125 million gas at 1,000 gas cost is 0 0.01 uh, VTO equals the it gives you the breakdown right here guys right so obviously always do do your own research you know what I mean but I just wanted to share guys that the uh, V chain uh, POA 2.0 it, it's on the verge you know what I mean uh, of 
coming live when we don't know but hopefully sooner than later but guys the transactions 2500 transactions per block is extremely great for v chain now i wanted to share the uh quick article here right guys let me get into it here with uh here we go here and this is from a couple days ago guys right and i think this is bullish news bullish sentiment for v chain right they have a new partner which is called Reci, right? So it says V Chain adoption solidifies with Reci project as VET price approaches critical reversal point. Okay, V Chain's blockchain technology is adopted by Reci projects to the end plastic ocean crisis. Like I said, guys, V Chain is solving world issues on a global scale, man. What they're doing, you know what I mean? A lot of these other shit coins. They're not doing any of these things to help the world, help solve issues. You know what I mean? VeChain is. You know what I mean? That's why they're highly undervalued. It says VET price is approaching a, a demand zone that could trigger a reversal, resulting in a 65% upswing. A breakdown of 11 cents would in, would invalidate it, the bullish thesis and kickstart a 15% down swing to 9 cents. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I mean, it did hit 9 cents right on the 24-hour low, guys, but it bounced back up uh, to 10 cents. It says, despite shedding over 40% of its token value in less than two weeks, the VeChain blockchain has witnessed a uh, palatable adoption by a major environmental group today. At the time of writing, VET price is feeling the brunt of the market downturn, but VET, uh, VET buys to surge higher, it says Reci Project and VeChain blockchain's impact. According to the recent announcement, Reci Project has removed 305 240 kilograms which is what 672 thousand pounds right of plastic from the ocean and rivers that's sad and horrible man for the ocean life guys we got to be better as as human beings around the world we want this place to be left for our children and our children's children man we gotta we gotta do better than this you know what i mean but i'm glad that v chain is part of a positive movement you know what i mean it says this move in help prevent more than 15 million plastic bottles from polluting naturally occurring water bodies like oceans rivers and lakes in four months it says the report further reads with the blockchain platform from vchain tech used to collect record and monitor collection data we ensure that all data is stored securely time stamped and immutable the certification from dnv provides independent proof of our progress and traceability of the total collect collected pro collection process while beaching adoption is already bearing fruit vet price has seen a massive downfall over the past week of course right because we we've had a major correction guys so when papa bitcoin goes down every, all he takes all his children down with it whether you like it or not it is what it is when pop-up bitcoin goes up well he brings his children up with them in price as well <laughs> uh, vet price has dropped nearly 42 percent over the last 11 days and has a result pierced the demand zone extending from 12 cents to 14 cents between april 10th and april 12th the area acted as a refueling point for buyers leading to an 82 percent upswing therefore investors can expect a resurgence of buying pressure as vet as v chain price dips into the zone again further supporting a bounce from this area is the momentum reversal indicator the mri which flashed the buy signal in the form of a green one uh candlestick this setup forecast at a one to four candlestick upswing a potential spike in buying pressure could result in a 54 percent upswing to the 50 percent fibonacci retracement level at 21 cents if this bullish momentum persists, investors could see VET price test the lower boundary of the supply zone that stretches from 23 cents to 26 cents. Such a move would represent a 65% rise. On the flip side, if the if if the said demand barrier fails to support the collapsing VET price, the downtrend will likely continue. A decisive 12-hour candlestick closes below 11 uh, cents will invalidate the bullish thesis. Under the certain under these circumstances, the market participants could expect reaching price to slide 14% to the support level of nine cents, right, guys? And obviously, it did uh, slide down to that nine cents, guys. But like I said, currently it is sitting at 10 cents now. But remember, guys, we have strong support at seven cents, and we have strong resistance at 13 cents. We're kind of sitting in the middle there, guys. So hopefully. As the markets continue to slowly recuperate, we hope VeChain comes up with it. I am majorly bullish on VeChain. Like I said, I am heavily invested in VeChain, and I believe in uh, what it does, and I stand behind it firmly. 
This is your boy Jaime G. Hopefully you found this video useful, insightful, guys. If you did, please consider to like and subscribe to the channel. I would much appreciate the love, and it would help me out with the channel. You guys stay safe and stay blessed, and have a wonderful Saturday evening with your loved ones. Until tomorrow, God bless. Peace out.